Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I am your gaming monk for the evening. This is day 16 of the RPG A Day 2019 challenge. Today's word is dream. Now, I was very tempted to talk about the sword dream thing that's been going around, that's been going around but when I did a deep dive as preparation for this, I found it's a whole lot of nothing. Like, Somebody can talk all they want about how about how they want to try and uplift and make more and make more progressive game design, but unless you're actually showing me game design, you're not doing anything. And that's not that's not a knock for and against them. It's more of a knock of I need to I need you to start selling before I can actually buy something. So instead I want to talk about the use of dreams in RPGs. And I do think this opens up a avenue that isn't necessarily explored as much. But I really, really think that there is an untapped potential in making a um, RPG in the vein of Inception. Or if you... Or some something along the lines of some of the uh, more batshit weird things that have come out, have come out of certain anime directors especially the likes of mind game where the most normal thing you're going to see in that is somebody literally outrunning god but i'm intrigued in this idea of utilizing a setting where the laws of reality are malleable and I th there are certain um, more narrativist games that I could see doing that, like, like say, Nobilis or Mystic Empyrean. But I've only found one that was outright trying to emulate that, and that was Lucid. There was also an attempt at an Inception RPG from TG, but I don't recall if that ever got finished. But the point is... This idea that you're go that you're going into people's he heads and del delving into deeper and deeper secrets is something that I find very intriguing. I think one of the best cases of take of taking this idea was an unfinished concept that Dagda did over a decade ago called Divers, which he described as a mixture of ideas from The Matrix, Bleach, and Silent Hill. I think it's an interesting concept. And because of the fact that you're not limited to the laws of reality in a, co in a contemporary setup, that means you can do all kinds of weird shit and really let the DM flex his muscles when it comes to descriptions. And to a certain extent, let the players do that as well. If I were to handle this sort of thing, I would not use a D&D-like setting or even a a setting that's I saying why am I talking about system or even a system like GURPS or Hero the like not something crunchy you would need something that would require a fair amount of flexibility and a fair amount of for lack of a better word improv not full not full on LARP level improv but just the idea that the rules, abilities, and, and the like have an interpretive visualization. And while that's certainly the case with a lot of games, it's definitely something that's going to be more needed in a project like this. And hell, maybe it's some, maybe something I'll come back to down the line. I've delved on the idea of doing a soup of doing a superhero campaign where you have people entering the dreamscapes of others. And hell, we already kind of have this whole this whole subconscious thing with um, the Persona games since 3. So I think it's an option worth exploring. I know that sounds a bit repetitive, but instead of going with the going with the Tolkien melting pot and similar fantasy shit all the time, would it kill some streamers to actually try something a little bit different for once? I know you're sucking on Matt Mercer's dick, but still. That's a Sorry, that's just something that kind of irks me. You got all this stuff out here and you still want to do high fantasy. Shameful display. <laughs>